G'day guys, Lane from Trackabout. Today, we're getting technical. Behind me, we've got an extender with all the gear on it. From DC chargers, solar regulators, airbags and compressors, this trailer has it all. And we're gonna run through a few of the features, how they work, and why they make your camping life easier. We're gonna start up the front of the trailer. This is the command center for your camper. In here, you'll find options like the Wabasso hot water system, the Red Arc Manager 30. You can even step that up a level with the Red Arc TVMS, which is a total vehicle management solution, which allows you to control everything on your camper from your phone in your back pocket or from the touchscreen in the kitchen. As far as power systems go, we choose the best of the best. We've worked closely with Red Arc and designed a system that works perfectly with our camper trailers and how our customers camp. The Manager 30 is probably one of the most popular options we fit to our campers. This looks after all your 12 volt needs when you're out camping. You can relax, unwind, and not stress about flat batteries or hot beers. One of the great features of the Manager 30 is the 30 amp DC to DC charger. Now the way this works is it trips the alternator in the tow vehicle to supply 30 amps of current to the trailer batteries. And it does this without any voltage drop because we mounted the unit right near the batteries in the camper. While you're driving, the unit takes into account any load that's coming off the batteries and how full they are. So it'll increase and decrease charge as necessary. When you set up camp, the solar panels really come into play. Now this has got a built-in solar regulator. You don't have to worry about regulating the panels and then running through a long lead and decreasing charge. Having the regulator built into the Manager 30 is the most efficient way to charge your batteries. In built into the system, there's also a 240 volt mains charger. It's got two modes, touring mode and storage mode. So the touring mode is when you're out and about and on the go. Whether you pull into a caravan park or your batteries are low after a few too many cloudy days, you can get the generator out, plug it in, and it'll top up the batteries for you. And when the time comes that you've got to pack the camper up and head home, you can flick it over the storage mode, and this protects and repairs the batteries while it's in storage and not being used. When you're out camping, a set of solar panels is invaluable. We can supply you with a 160 watt solar blanket. The beauty of these is they're lightweight, they can pretty much be set up on anything, and they pack down to a really small size. They plug into the Anderson plug on the back of the camper and a maximised charge through the Red Arc Manager 30 built into the unit. The beauty of these panels is they also have an external regulator which can be bypassed. So if the car battery runs flat or you've got a mate down the road that needs to borrow your solar panels, simply get the regulator out, plug it in and you can safely charge other batteries that aren't connected to the camper. The Manager 30 is such a great unit but you can actually step this up a notch. Red Arc have come out with a TVMS, which is a total vehicle management solution. Now this is a touchscreen unit that replaces the interface in the kitchen and gives you all the data of what's happening with your camper at the push of a button. It gives you your water level meters on the color screen and you can turn circuits on and off from the push of a button on your phone. So if you're driving 10 minutes out of camp and you want a hot shower when you get there, turn the Wabasto on from in the car using your phone connected to Bluetooth to the camper. By the time you get to camp, you'll have hot water ready to go. Whether you use the TVMS or the Standard Manager 30, it gives you all the information you need when you're camping. It'll tell you exactly how much power you're using, how much is going in, how much is going out, and how long you can stay there with the current power that you've got on board. One of the features I love most about my camper is the Wabasto ducted heating and hot water service. This thing is brilliant. It just makes camping an absolute breeze. It's a self-contained unit that sits in the front toolbox and it runs off a 12 litre diesel tank mounted to the side of the toolbox. It works exactly like your car. There's a small diesel motor and a header tank, which works like a radiator. It heats that up, which then pumps water through into the radiator inside the main sleeping area, which creates a heating effect. And it also gives you hot water through to the kitchen and through the mixer tap on the side of the toolbox. This unit is super efficient. Now, when I'm away, I'll generally use about a liter a day and that's showering the whole crew, plus washing up in the morning and heating at night. Another feature that comes with the standard Wabasto package is the external creek suction. This is great if you're somewhere like Fraser Island in the Victorian high country, you can just run a hose out, chuck it in the creek and you can have limitless hot showers. It's even great if your mates come with you, get them to bring a water jerry can along, they can plug it into the side of the camper, you, they can use your hot water system and their water and everyone's comfortable. Just recently, we've added a really exciting option to our list. It's the Cruise Master XT Air. Now this is a full independent air suspension setup for the camper. It makes leveling a breeze. It comes with an onboard air compressor and tank. So you can pump up the airbags on the camper. You can pump up the tires on the car and the camper as well. And you can run air tools from the compressor tank. An option I get asked about all the time is lithium batteries. Now I've been running these in my own camper for well over a year and they are the absolute future in batteries when you do a lot of remote travel. There are many benefits to a lithium battery. Not only are they lightweight, but you have a lot more usable power inside the actual battery. You can recharge them at a higher rate without causing damage and also discharge them to a lower level 
without any permanent damage to the batteries. So there you have it guys, there's some of the latest and greatest tech options you can fit to your track about build. If you want to know more, comment below, jump on the website and hit that subscribe button.